In this video, I'll be talking about supports in Stat Pro software. So without further ado, let's begin. Hi, I'm Kushal from Hashtag Begin and I'm really sorry for being so late on my videos. I've been really busy with work, but I'll try and make it up to you. This video is going to be about supports in its entirety. Now I'm making this video so that if ever you have any issues with support, you can come back to this video and refer to it. Now, when I'm talking about Strat Pro and supports related to Strat Pro, I have to first define what a support is. Now, most of you understand the basic definition of support, but let's talk it from a logical point of view so that you can relate it to how you're going to be putting it in the Strat Pro software. The general definition of uh, support is quite simple. It means restraining a structure at a certain point. So once you restrain a structure at a point, that means it's supported at that point. Now to understand the concept of restraints, you have to understand the concepts of degrees of freedom. Now this is a term I'll be using more often than not. To understand this, consider this point. Now this can be any point or any node of the structure. Now any point in three dimensions can have six types of movements or six, six types of freedoms. Now three would be translational. That is, it can move in the X direction. It can move in the Y direction or it can move in the Z direction. Similarly, it can rotate about the X, Y plane. It can rotate about the X, Z plane or it can rotate about the Y, Z plane. So these are basically the six degrees of freedom any point or any node can have. Once you restrain or stop the movement along any of these six degrees of freedom, that would essentially become a support. So in general, a support is a restraint and restraint is defined by the degrees of freedom, but the story doesn't end here. Now there are two key things missing in this support definition. The first being that whatever we define is along a specific access system. So in our case, or in the case of Stat Pro, we are going to define any support along the global X, Y, and Z axis. Now, whenever it comes to an incline, the definition will slightly change because the axis will be inclined to the original global axis. So consider this one thing that the angle of the axis or the orientation of the axis is also key. Now, the second key aspect which you're missing in support is going to be the behavior of the support. What we think so far is that a support will restrain movement or it will, when it allows movement, it is not a support, but that is not the case. Once you consider springs as support, the definition changes a little bit. So in this case, there is restraint, but there is not complete stoppage of movement. There is a slight degree of freedom, which is defined by again, the KX, which is the stiffness coefficient of the spring. So that is the second aspect. So in its entirety, support is related to restraint. A restraint means or is closely related to free degrees of freedom. There are six degrees of freedom. The orientation of these de uh, degrees of freedom is related to the inclination of the axis this, or the orientation of the axis. And the second part of this whole paradigm is the value of the stiffness coefficient. So any point or any support is essentially a spring. If the spring value is zero, that means it, it is going to stop the movement entirely. Otherwise it will have some wiggle room in that. So if you have this concept clear, let's dive into start pro. So I'm inside start. Now keep the concept, which I talked about the degrees of freedom on one hand, right? And we will talk about everything in that purview. Firstly, let's reach where you can put supports. Now I've created a simple B just for demonstration purpose. So in order to reach the support application, you have to go to from setup, you move down to general and from property move down to support. Once you click on support, you'll have the support window pop up. Right now there are no supports. You have to create one. Just click on create. I'll be creating each of these supports a bit later, let me first show you what supports, what different supports mean. So the fixed support, as you can understand, if you have your degrees of freedom in your mind, 
that a fixed support is going to restrain all the degrees of freedom. So that's what it says. It is restraining FX, FY, FZ, MX, MY, and MZ. Now in Stat Pro, instead of creating restraints, Stat Pro finds it easy to create releases when it comes to custom supports. For example, a roller support, you will have to release a certain aspect of the support rather than create restraint. This is a bit counterintuitive, but it eventually helps. I'll show you what I'm talking about. But before that, let's move on to pinned. So pinned, as you can imagine, a pin support is going to restrain movement in the translational directions that is FX, FI and FZ, but it will allow rotation. So that is what you can see in this pin. The restraint is along FX, FI and FZ, but it is allowing rotational movements. Now, let me move to fixed but once I open fixed but you see you have instead of having the option of restraint which would be a bit intuitive we have the option of release which is a bit more productive now start pro has obviously invested a lot of time into creating this interface so this is a bit logical if you get to using it for example if you are to create a simple roller support now roller support would in general allow movement in a particular direction as well as allow movement in a certain rotational direction for example if i'm going for a two-dimensional roller support something like this this is going to allow movement in the x direction so in this case i'll be releasing fx also it will be allowing rotation in the mz direction so i'll be releasing mz so instead of restraining four, now I end up having to release two. Either way would have worked, but this is how it works here. Now fixed but is very much similar to enforced but. The only difference being that in the case of fixed but, you have the option of defining the spring. Again, an important thing, let me take you to enforced but first. So in, if I were to create a simple uh, roller support, I would be releasing FX as well as releasing MZ. Rest all would be restrained. This would be an effective roller support. Now, however, if I had to create a spring support, I would have to move to fix butt and I'll be defining K, K values in each direction. So I can define the K values here and that would start acting like a spring. So fixed but and enforced but are one and the same thing. You are going to release something. However, in case of fixed but, you have the option of defining the spring. When we move to enforced, it looks very much similar to a fixed support. However, there is a key difference here. The key difference being that an enforced support can be given a displacement load. Now what a displacement load means is that in certain cases, the support is allowed to settle a little bit. Once you create a fixed support, although there is no movement of the node in general, the support displacement is not allowed. Now what I mean by that is if I'll, I'll just quickly close it and take you to the load part. So I'll just click on load and definition. I'll quickly create a load case I'll just leave everything to the defaults and let me take you to nodal load and as you can see there is something called support displacement I'll be talking about this in a in very much detail later but just to show you what happens that you can allow a support to settle by a little bit which generally happens in case of certain soils so you can allow displacement without allowing the node to move that is the node in its entirety is moving but the node is not allowing any degrees of freedom it is a bit confusing to hear but i i presume that you are under you're understanding what i mean so let's get back to supports again so an enforced and fixed Supports are similar, except that an enforced support would allow a little bit of support displacement loads. Let's move on to multilinear spring. In this case, you can allow displacements as well as spring stiffness. 
let's move on to the next foundation again foundation i'll be talking about in a separate video perhaps so i'm not going into it basically using this you can create foundations this is not the best method of using it you you have you should use the start foundation which is an extension of start pro i'll perhaps be touching upon that in a later video so the next is incline now this is kind of a universal way of creating if you remember i talked about the other aspect of degrees of freedom that is the orientation of the axis in all the other cases the axis being taken is the global xyz which is shown from this axis system here in case of inclined if you have an inclined member say something like this and you want your support to be inclined along that direction as well you can use this the usage is quite simple uh, it's quite intuitive you can just create an reference point or you can create use a reference joint as well the support type again all the options are given here so you can just create whatever option you want and you can just stick with it so as you can see if i go for fixed everything has been fixed if i go for pinned except the movement along the xyz the rotation is allowed if i go for fixed but you can create releases or you can create springs in case of enforced again it acts like a fixed one in case of enforced but everything is possible but you cannot make it as a spring so you have all the options available finally we have the tension and compression springs only now this comes in handy when you have already defined a support as a spring in this case you can define whether that spring acts in a particular direction in general a spring would act in both the ways so if you have a tension on the spring it would act against the tension and again if you have a compression it would act against that compression however in certain cases for example in case of a tunnel inside a rock if there is water pressure the tunnel would try to expand and the rock would try to resist it so in that case the rock acts as a support as a spring support which comes into action only in case of compression once the tunnel tries to shrink the rock won't the rock doesn't have any uh, tensile strength so it won't be trying to stop it so in certain cases like this you can use this a uh, spring tension compression spring only again the note as you can see this support requires an earlier assignment of a spring so you can you have to create a spring first and then define that spring as being a tension or a compression spring the next part is two stepped the first being again creating and the second part would be assigning as in all the other cases so let's go for a simple one first just creating a fixed one i'll just click click on add now this now the support is added in order to assign it i'll just click on it use any of the four assignment methods i'll just use the third one by default which says use cursor to assign i'll just click on assign and i'll click on assign so this support is now fixed so if i were to create a pinned support i'll just go on to it click on pinned click on add this is my pinned support i'll again use the cursor i'll click on assign and i'll just replace it so now i have my pin ready let's create a roller support again i'll click on create in order to create a roller support i can either go to fixed but or i can go to enforced but in this case it's much easier to go into enforced but i'll just click to release fx and i'll click to release mz these two are the releases i'll just click on add click on it use cursor to assign click on assign and just come back here and assign it again if you have any questions regarding this you can just leave a comment below i'll be talking about local and global axis in a separate video so that you can get a better understanding for it well there it is every support you need to ever know or need to ever define just remember the concepts of degrees of freedom when to restrain and when to release now i'll be needing these as in when time comes if you ever get into trouble just drop a message on my facebook group the link is in the description you have if you haven't joined it till now please do join it and if you like this video please leave that 
thumbs up and also do not forget to subscribe because i'm back in the game i'll try and create more videos this series i'll try and finish as soon as possible so that i can move on to other softwares and other skills which i would want you people to learn last but not the least do not forget to hit that notification bell so that you get notified whenever a video pops up now my entire purpose of getting on youtube is to share whatever knowledge i have so that everyone out there can make some earning in some form as well as learn anything which i know personally which i have spent so much time learning do support me share this video as much as you can and till that time keep trying start pro keep learning keep teaching and i'll see you on the next one